So this, this might look a little bit strange, but it isn't. And if it does, it's good. Uh, we are um, hosting a little game. Yeah. Hosting a little game here. Yeah. Our uh, great participants have uh, all worked very hard to become something else. So your first task is to try to figure out who or what. Yeah. You can shout at this. It's uh, no. Uh, So does any of you have any idea where we are? Holidays. What we tried to um, explore in these uh, two days were um, a little bit the uh, reaction and um, what you said about memories and, and the ways to, to uh, express. And uh, the idea was really to see um, the minutes that everyone shares something with the rest. Then to see actually what happens the minute these memories are switched. And some of the memories were sometimes uh, um, still something that someone relates to, but sometimes of course it's something that you have no idea what it is. Or... We start with a simple exercise that was inspired by the designer. They told us to go downstairs to the bar and uh, take a coffee and drink it. It's a simple action that uh, we make uh, almost every day in our life. The goal of the exercise was to concentrate on this action and trying to perceive something that uh, we in a certain way ignore when we drink a coffee because it's a, a, an action in a way banal that we make every day. After that, we decided to focus really on, on the tactility, on, 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 on the, the tactile sense. So we decided to do some blind experiments of which we uh, made a movie. The idea was really to take away all other senses so they could, they could really feel what they were doing and think about it and uh, focus completely on the tactility. So actually there is one person who is the programmer and the other one is machine who doesn't have his tactile senses and who cannot see anything. It's a robot basically. And we are going to show you a bit how uh, that came about. And you have to guide his arms. So red is one time. Okay. Then you turn so that he can pick the paper. When you receive the paper, you turn back and if he if beat you one time, you have to fold it one time in the middle. Take four plastic gla glasses, then you put the four glasses here and you keep it in position. Then you have to guide uh, his arms to put the glue in, on the top of the glasses. We'll have one side closed and the other one open and you have to close it with the tape. Wow. Oh wait, it, it's, it's pitch black. Can I turn okay. it? Okay. And put a little bit more. Okay. And now you have to turn and uh, put the product on the table. Yeah. And on your left side, the uh, tape. Okay. And now you you can feel the open side of the table. Okay. Close it. Perfect. We just wanted to, to say some words before we go in. Because we started the first day with some rules. And the rules were that nobody were allowed to draw anything. No, no touching and no looking at the materials. <laughs> because we really wanted it to be different from, from like most <laughs> design schools are. Where you kind of like, you find the result through sketching or through building something with your hands. And since this is a more conceptual workshop, we really felt that it was important to start with the thought. We have made uh, six concepts, 
um, that you will see in there in, the, in our exhibition and um, you can walk around a couple of minutes and just have a look at them and later the, the persons that are uh, in charge of the individual concepts are going to say some words about the, the idea. In the exhibition, like uh, you see, is more suggestion. So we want all of you to experience what we felt, like uh, under this theme, lost. So each one can imagine what it would be, and then we will give you some kind of answers after this. The story we are trying to tell with this uh, video really happened. It happened yesterday when we were walking down uh, Valentino's Park, and uh, it happened that uh, Daniel uh, encountered uh, somehow this key uh, in, inside, uh, uh, inside uh, the water of the, of the fountain, and all of us noticed that uh, something uh, happened inside when you see a uh, so strange, uh, strange scene. Kind of uh, everybody thinks about uh, what they've lost, what they've found, and what they've uh, met in their life uh, somehow. The feeling that it should uh, evoke is uh, a kind of frustration and anxiety of uh, losing something and not be able to touch it no more or to sense it no more. And it can be present in us just uh, as, a, as a memory. We thought about how the, um, the people can react to see something that they are usual to see in some way, make it see in the other way, without the color, without something that can react to you, uh, for of something that you can memorize, that something that you can see every day in another way. So that's our... Sucking up uh, a solid object. This is uh, concept number four, and you know, as we, we've talked about, we really try to find different ways of um, communicating the same feeling. So with this, we kind of wanted to 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 look if like a sentence or something that someone can say to you can evoke that kind of like that, that feeling that you lost your phone even though you, you didn't you like you check for things or you know if it's not in the regular pocket you, you get like a panic like for some seconds <laughs> and then you're calm again so just try to, to see if a sentence could, could work Sorry, could you have uh, your attention, please? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. This is a live performance. This is the number five. It's a um, it's a simple thing we have done. Uh, we have uh, throw a glass on the floor in the kitchen, and so uh, we have done a a little. Uh, with I think that's it. Not very strange, but. Uh, it's really related to sex memory because in your uh, in your in your mind you imagine the glass and also you have uh, the bad feelings that you have that, you, that are you that have broken the uh, the glass. <laughs> <laughs> we have work about uh, the memory, and so we can uh, clearly recognize that here there was an object. But now there isn't. But uh, he lives here. His memory, no. And we can recognize by the signs that uh, remain. And so this is uh, its memory. It's uh, here. It started more personal, so like, but we try to explain it more into universal. So some stories that uh, maybe a little bit more difficult to understand, some are easier. And I hope in this way, um, you know, like, sense is something it's so personal, but you can communicate. I really like, you know, 
you know, to see what we accomplished in a couple of days. And with all the furniture around there, you know, black and white printer. Thank you for coming. <laughs>